my movie maniacs so this is the aftermath episode um after the kidnapping of course <laughs> we've officially entered stage three of the challenge which i probably said three times already so yes let me just recap the rules for this section real quick um so it says since the household is merged you can play between both characters if you were not doing this before all right so i was doing it before of course so you could get the experience of playing as laura and massimo but anyway so the first thing is that laura and massimo must start off as enemies once they're both living in massimo's house so we need to get on that right away now we know that laura is locked up <laughs> in her room so we're going to get massimo no we're going to get dominico to come let her out <laughs> And you know what? I want to try to recreate as many scenes as possible. So we're going to recreate the scene where she escapes. Oh, I mean, technically it was in the night, but yeah, she escapes and she sees Massimo kill a guy <laughs> and she passes out. Anyway, so Domenico, why don't you come open this door? Wow. We're going to pretend that he's unlocking the door. Okay. Unlock. Um, wow, Massimo just came in. So, in that case, I mean, yeah, why don't we get you guys hating each other? Okay, yeah, so let's get their, uh, let's get them hating each other. <laughs> so she's going to be like, oh, you stupid man. <laughs> I am not, um, your prize. You can't, I'm not your property. You can't just take me away i have a family i have a life my friends will be looking for me you <laughs> you can't just kidnap me and he's like listen to me don't you want to know why i have you here <laughs> so let yeah yell at her and because how dare she talk to him like that because i am massimo <laughs> You don't know who you're dealing with. Chair. He can't take her feisty attitude. <laughs> Rile him up some more. Oh, who do you think you are? Take me back home. Let me out. Oh. <laughs> wow, this is taking longer than I thought. Maybe we need to uh, do something more drastic. Um, can't you imply his mother is a llama? <laughs> Wait, what? Who's joining the conversation? Mario, Mario, stay out of this. Although he did actually, he was there. He kind of came to the side. He's <laughs> like, calm down, everyone. Insulter, I don't like your attitude. <laughs> Mario, you have a call. Oh, Laura has a call. Martin. Oh, oh my god. Cancel, you can't leave yet. You're a prisoner. Oh, she's just casually on the toilet. All right. Massimo, you're supposed to display the picture of Martin cheating on Laura. So let's um, do that so that when she comes downstairs, you can be like, see, your boyfriend's not going to look for you. He doesn't deserve you because he's cheating on you. Um, wow, this is like my favorite section of the house. Like, oh my god. Anyway. Let's get out. Let's whip out that picture. Are any of them good? Wait, let me put up the walls real quick. Okay. Um. Can I make this like bigger? Or do I have to be in... I think I have to be in, um... In build mode to do that. Let me just see if it's clear enough. Not that it really matters, but <laughs> yep, it's clear enough. Let me just make it bigger. <laughs> so you can be like, oh, look at this. Your man's cheating on you and, and you want to stay with him? Pathetic. <laughs> Too big. All right, yeah, so it's going to be right there. Look at that, perfect, beautiful. <laughs> Maybe I should frame it too. <laughs> Where is he? Where is everyone? Is she still peeing? No, she escaped yet. <laughs> oh, she's eating. Okay. And she's also frozen. We love that. 
<clears throat> we need you guys to be enemies. Massimo, come and show her the, the picture. Oh good, they're starting to hate each other. Yeah, let's hear some more. You guys need to be enemies. Hello. Imply mother is a llama. That should uh that should do the trick, right? Oh, she's depressed. I <laughs> can't blame you. No. <laughs> Come scream at him some more. You're depressed. You're angry. Let it out. Throw a drink. Yes, these are the options I was hoping would come up faster. Throw a drink in his sorry face, Laura. Show him how you're really feeling. Don't hold back. Insult him. Imply his mother is a llama. You don't know what happened with his family. So make him angry. <laughs> I love how she just refuses to like do anything. <laughs> Massimo just casually has a stripper pole in his room. <laughs> Oh, she just this? threw the llama comment. Oh, yeah. Throw a drink. Throw a drink. Throw a drink. Throw a drink. And that can be like where she um where he told her to suck on the ice and she like spat it in his face. So that can be like that <laughs> that scene. Throw a drink. Throw a drink. Yeah. <laughs> Show him. This is taking so long, what the heck? I could have sworn doing like mean stuff got the hatred going faster. I guess I'm wrong. Maybe she's too sad to really be that angry. <laughs> I don't know. Whoa, 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 why is she feeling flirty? I mean, yeah, he's hot. Oh, fight, yes. Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> Fight! Don't let him get away. He kidnapped you. This can be like when um, she pulled out the gun and held it to him and he's like grabbing it back from her. <laughs> and then... Because <laughs> Dom Domenico and Mario came in at that point. Oh my god. If she doesn't win, I mean she shouldn't win. Alright, yeah, that's, that's more accurate. I kind of wanted her to win though. They despise each other. Okay, come on, let's take it to the next step. Enemies, enemies. Do they have to fight again? Bro, she was, she's like hitting on him real hard. Oh god, he busted her up. <laughs> Beg forgiveness. Ask what Laura's problem is. Oh no, he's furious. I need to be careful because he can literally die. Like, he could die. Is she furious? No, she's flirty as heck. Let me see. Beg her forgiveness and be like, listen. Um, oh wait, no. Declare enemy first. <laughs> declare enemy. What are you doing, Laura? Oh my God, so cool. I mean, I know he's hot, but like, gosh, <laughs> calm it down, girl. You need to declare him your enemy. Hello. <laughs> this girl in here. So fooling. No shame. God, no, she's dressed up. Could you hurry it up, please? We have other parts of the challenge to um enact. Oh, whoops. Declare enemy. Come on, one of you has to do it. <laughs> okay, she should be on her way to do it then. Massimo and Laura have had it. They are now enemies. <laughs> Finally, why did I pause it? Now come on, you need to do like a smooth apology that isn't beg forgiveness. Be like, Laura, you don't understand. <laughs> When I when I almost died and they killed my father, and and you were the first face I saw, and I knew I had to find you. <laughs> and she's just like not having it. She's just going to like brush him off. 
Where is brush off? Is there brush off? <laughs> brush him off. And now, you, Laura, stop flirting with Massimo. Oh my god. You need to come and look at the picture. Oh yeah, she's supposed to see this and be shocked. It's the picture of her. I wish like... I wish... What was I saying? I wish they could like react happily or react sad or angry to pictures. I would add like more interesting gameplay. I mean like... For, yeah, for storytellers in The Sims. Oh, oops. Oh no, it was her that I clicked. Massimo, come down here as well because you need to show her the picture. Well, there, she didn't sound very happy when she looked at it. Never mind. <laughs> Come, you need to look at this view, and we're going to pretend that she's upset because she's like, What? He's cheating. Ah, I see. You were right. He did cheat on me. However, oh, look at that mafia guy just out there. That should be the guy that Massimo kills. Okay, I need to get him real quick. <laughs> Massimo, come. We need to change you into something else. We'll use this one with a gun. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> See, he has his gun right there. He's not behind her with the gun, of course. She's still like appalled at the fact that Martin cheated on her. But meanwhile, this is like... <laughs> So now the movie went. He's going to be killing this guy. He's gonna be like, Oh, you tried to traffic women. You don't deserve to live. I'm going to kill you. Extreme violence. Deadly interactions. These options though, I kinda want to do this because like Imagine him riding on a bike and killing this guy. I mean, we don't have to make it completely movie accurate, right? Uh, but I mean, I am trying to recreate the movie technically. So we'll just choose this then. If he doesn't escape, we need to teleport Laura here so she can see by accident. Massimo, any minute now. Could you please appear? Is that you? Yes, it is. Okay, he's coming. <laughs> Hold on. Where the heck is Laura? I will destroy you. <laughs> Where is she? Oh, she's over there. I guess that's far enough. She she can see, guys. She can see. Don't worry about it. Wait, what? Where is he going? Jeez. Can you not chat with Lydia? He just doesn't- he doesn't want to kill him. I'm convinced. He just doesn't want to kill him. <sighs> Massimo? Oh my god, Martin. A quick woo session. This guy is not for real. He's like, screw you, Martin. It's over. I think he's finally going to do it, guys. Laura? Get ready. She's still depressed, poor soul. <laughs> there, finally. Is he going to do it? So where is he running to? The guy is standing... Okay, here we go. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. He doesn't know Laura can see him. But she's right there. What the heck? Why does he keep not doing it? <laughs> Oh my god, you guys. Okay, we're going to try a different action then. We're going to do... <clears throat> Shoot with a shotgun. Maybe that will work. <laughs> he did it! <laughs> and Laura... Laura's like... Ah, what did I just see? <laughs> And he's like, shoot, she saw me. <laughs> She's running away. And he's like chasing after her. He's like, Laura, what are you doing outside the house? You're supposed to be asleep, even though it's daytime. But, you know, <laughs> come back here. <laughs> you shouldn't have seen that. <laughs> I love <laughs> the reaction so much. Massimo wants to harp on shower because the police can legit confirm with this mod. 
God, Sacrificial's mods are so good. Laura, you're going to go straight to bed. Domenico's already there waiting for you. <laughs> she's going to pass out in her bed because she can't believe what she saw. She's like, oh my God, what's going on? <laughs> Oh my god, I should have done I should have made him come to work and when he came back to work he did that because that would be more like, you know, more accurate. <laughs> anyway. Um go to work just like that, I guess. You can get cleaned up after. We're going to pretend you did it while you're at work. Poor Lordy her crying. <laughs> She's so frightened. Oh gosh, look at her. So yes, this is her being passed out. <laughs> Everyone's gone to work. Massimo, I'm going to need to work hard. Um, Wow, looks like she found, I mean, she formed another sentiment. This time it's towards Massimo. <laughs> Let's see, opens in profile. Festering grudge and hurt, oh no. And furious. Oh wait, no, these ones are... Oh. Okay, the hurt for Massimo is good. Festering grudge. Maybe because she was with Martin and he was jealous all this time. So this is his towards her. Hers towards him is furious. So that's pretty good. That's pretty spot on. Bro, look at all the blood all over him. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, good. Wow, sentiments coming through. So yeah, she's just here passed out. Poor thing, she has a black eye. Let's just pretend she doesn't have a black eye. Um, or maybe <laughs> she fell and busted her eye when she was running away from Massimo. <laughs> he didn't beat her up, nah. <laughs> so yeah, Domenico, you can make connections for Massimo and same with you, Mario. Um, so in the meanwhile, let me just see what we have next on our agenda. Oh, I should lock the front door so she can't come out. So I'm going to do that as well because she must be locked in. So I'm going to lock front door for her. Um... Massimo must convince Laura to break up with Martin. So at some point we need to make them see each other again so Laura can break things off with him. Oh, right. I wanted to talk about that. So the reason why I made... um Oh, Massimo's back. The reason why I made Martin cheat in front of Laura is because like in the movie, she would have reacted to the picture that way. I'd be like, oh, he's been cheating on me. But like obviously in Sims, she can't react to the picture and realize he's cheating on her. So... I needed her to somehow know that he's cheating, that he was cheating on her. So that's why that's a rule in here. <clears throat> but yeah. Well, my game is glitching. So can we lock this for Laura? For. Okay, never mind. They're going to have to be in the house. So I'm just going to unlock it and wait until everyone gets home. And then I'll lock it for Laura. <clears throat> So yeah, Massimo, you need to get cleaned up because like you can't go out looking like this. People are going to see you. How do you do it again? I think um I don't think you can wash it off. I think I think it's an option in the thing where he cleans himself up or something. Um so extreme violence. Uh yeah, mm -hmm. More options. You can pause with your weapons, what the heck? Oh, clean self up. Okay. Did he do it? Yes, he did it. Um, Let's check your reputation. <laughs> Does anyone like no? Massimo's reputation is clean. <laughs> Nobody saw except Laura. Okay, good. So he's he's fine. He's he's not a what's the word? <laughs> he's not a suspect in any crimes or anything. He's off the hook. So Massimo has to start trying to win Laura over when she wakes up. He has to flirt with her continuously. Okay, you know what? Tomorrow in their world, I'm going to make them um make them go to that that um restaurant place where she was eating ice cream with Dominico, and. She was trying to make him jealous. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Meanwhile, I kind of need him to make friends with the other Massimo, Massimo, the other mafia people in his community because, like, one of them is supposed to be his cousin. <laughs> All right, um, Laura. 
Are you tired? You're not tired. So let's wake you up. And you can pee. Massimo, can I have dinner with you? Yeah, we need to move another person into the household. I'm gonna do that real quick because they need a cook and everything and that guy can just be like the everything guy. Poor Laura. So yeah, that's what I'll do tonight. They'll have the chef in those 2 a.m. <sighs> Why don't you take a bubble bath? And kind of calm down after everything that you've been through, poor soul. So yeah, I'm just going to add someone to the household. Give me a second. So yeah, let's add on Antonio. Marco Antonio. Definitely named him after, the, after <laughs> Mark Anthony, the singer. Okay, guys, welcome, um, Senor Marco Antonio to the household. <laughs> he will be preparing the dinner, not exercising. This is his, uh, his exercise clothes. I didn't change his exercise clothes. So sorry, he looks a little funny. First of all, why don't you clean that up? Because gross. And then come and prepare. Can't he serve dinner? I guess he can't serve dinner at 3 a.m. So we're going to pretend that Panda Morito is pirogi. I can't pronounce it right, but yeah. Because that's what Laura wanted to eat. She's still having her bubble bath. Bubble bath. Maybe I should have <laughs> Mario swiped an object while he was at work. Good, good, good. Oh, everyone's home now, which means I can um, lock Laura in the house. Oh no, Domenico got hurt at work. I'm guessing it's at work. All right, everyone inside and then He's not inside. Go inside, Domenico. What? Why is there a random shower out here? I didn't take that out. So I'm just going to quickly lock the door for Laura. There. Perfect. So she can't go out. <laughs> oh, wait, crap. Oh, wait, no, never mind. That's fine. She can't go out the back for dinner. Um, Do you need anything, Domenico? You... You could... Did I say, no, that's Massimo. Massimo, go and pee. Domenico. Oh, he's pretty fine. Laura. No, you're not cooking. Although she did say she would help to teach the cook how to make the pirogi, pirogi, how she likes it. So let's pretend that she's teaching him instead of chatting with him how to make the pirogi that she likes. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, friendly, let's see what's in here. Hmm, let's pretend that instead of fitness techniques, never mind. Stop cooking, Laura. Just wait, he's going to feed you. Tell him to overcome his insecurities about not making the pirogi how she liked it. How about that? Hmm? Seems I can't get rid of this. Can it go in the bin? Okay then, I guess I... You know what, you clean it up, Laura. Okay, the pierogi is here. So... So why does she have to talk to him so rough? Oh my god. We're going to move this on the table over here. Never mind, there's absolutely no space for it. <laughs> wow, 10 out of 10. She's going to sit here. Stop! Okay, you know what? Grab a serving. Massimo, grab a serving. Um, why don't you then just... You can finish this. Or clean it up, I guess. Oh, he made excellent food. <laughs> you and Laura must sit over here. Oh wait, I should probably make them talk then they can can just be like, 
Susan, chat here. Apologize to her. And then you can sit here and she, oh wait, no, Laura sits here. Massimo, you sit here. <laughs> Look, even the candle is there. Like, this is so cute. CC for the win, guys. Massimo, where are you at, though? Why don't you? Yeah, come out here and talk to her and be like, I, I need you to help me to be patient for you. <laughs> mm, she's not having it. Apologize, apologize. June, you have a thing for Mario or something? So yeah, he came over to her and he's like, I need you to teach me how to be patient for you. <laughs> and he's getting all, she's like, tell me, what do you do? And he's all like, oh, I do business. And she's like, I'm not stupid. <laughs> what do you really do? And he's like, I told you all you need to know. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, at least you have a good thumbnail from that, I guess. And then he can put this away. No. You put it away, Marco. <laughs> Oh, you're listening to some tunes out here beside your motorcycle? Oh, Laura is, and you're just watching her dance, huh, Massimo? You like that, huh? <laughs> Why don't you join her and try to talk to her, huh? Oh, <laughs> wine with Laura. This thing ruined my game forever. Um, why don't you ask her about her day? And you need to console her about what she saw the other night. Um, complain about your problems. Tell her that, you know, you, you're, you grew up in a hard life. You had no choice but to take over your father's business. Even though it was against your will, kind of. Because he got killed. And then she's just going to be all like, oh, just like me. I am here by force. I didn't have a choice. She's just not having it. I'm going to keep it all one-sided. I'm only going to make Massimo try to like make her like him again. That way it can kind of stay more real, you know? Right, so he has to apologize again. Apologize again. <laughs> What's this? Complain of- oh. Festering bitterness from feeling bitter about someone nearby. Oh lol, Massimo really can't stand being around. <laughs> Laura. Don't lie to yourself, you can't stand being away from her more like. Apologize. Keep telling her that, you know. I didn't have a choice. I need you. And if you don't fall in love with me by your next birthday, then I will set you free. And that made him sad that he had to say that. <laughs> because he wants her to love him, you know? He wants her to fall in love with him. He can't help how he feels. Try to calm her down. He just told her that he that they're going to fly out of the country soon. And she's like, I'm not having it. I'm not leaving. Who do you think you are? And he's like, oh, your temper is so bad. <laughs> Wait, you and Dominico are supposed to kind of form a little friendship, Laura. So, Dominico, why don't you try to calm her down, huh? That should work better. You have a kind of strained relationship, but it's fine, you know? Give her a compliment. Tell her, you know, Massimo's just trying to show you how he feels about you he, he just wants you to love him he loves you so brighten her day make her feel nice 
get to know her a bit, you know? Marco, what do you do? Are you a chef or are you... Customer support? What the heck? I need to change your job when you come home. Well, there, they kind of have a friendship going, so that's good. Complain about TV size, lol. Just kind of change the topic. Poor Massimo, is he crying it out? Oh no, he's crying it out. <laughs> Massimo, everything's going to be okay. Domenico, you need to you need to give him some support too. What are you doing? Sleeping now? Okay. Well, talk, talk, help him talk about overcoming insecurities. Make him feel a little better. Try to cheer him up. Tell her, tell him, she'll come around eventually. Don't let it bother you <laughs> oh looks like Domenico wants kids oh it worked oh he's still busted up from work is this Martin yo she's furious hey beautiful you want to go on a date today <laughs> no thanks that's right girl you tell him let's see still furious yep she can't stand Massimo Okay, so um, we're going to wait for Marco to get back home and then they're going to go somewhere and then she's going to make him jealous. Who is that? Is that another mafia person? Or is this just a random guy? Is this the same June? Yo, June's like in love with Mario, I'm convinced. Maybe we should form a relationship with them then, since she's so like adamant on getting him. Don't be sad, Laura. Did you do this? <laughs> Why don't you kick it? Maybe that will help you to feel a little better. Oh shoot. She's mourning Martin, you guys. <laughs> She's mourning the fact that he's literally dead, but the fact that he's dead to her. Whoa, what? Why is Olga here? What's going on? Oh my god. <laughs> Talk about worlds colliding. You know what? While she's here, Domenico, we're going to start your relationship. You need to kind of send her home, but at the same time, you need to introduce yourself, you know? But yeah, you can't really be here, Olga. Sorry. He's going to have to send you home after that one. Domenico, hurry up. This is your future woman. You cannot taste. Why do I keep pausing? <gasps> Estrella. Get away. We don't want you here. Oh god, he's really pained up. Oh good, they're kind of friends. Now send her home, she can't be here. Oh By the way, if you keep seeing people call Massimo, it's that girl that kept calling him in the movie. We're going to pretend it's that. Who's calling Marco? Henry, want to hang out today? No. Oh god, he's having it rough. Why is she here? Leave, literally, what? You can't be here. Oh, she's leaving, good. Massimo, come and eat. Mario, clean up the place. Oh, you're tired as heck. Okay, you can go take a nap then. Clean that up. Oh, Massimo, you're in here with her. Might as well try to talk to her. He's tense. Um, <laughs> Come flirt with her. Give her a nice pickup line. Tell her she's Gorgina. <laughs> Find common ground. <laughs> this is going to be harder than I thought. Apologize. <laughs> Complain about your problems to her. Maybe if you discuss interests, because you guys must have something in common, right? She's just not giving him the time of day at all. 
She comes here to dance every day because she has no choice because she's locked in. This is the farthest she can come to the door. Why don't you join in? Dance with her, Massimo. Come on, you need to enjoy yourself with her. Who are you? Are you that same guy? Yes, Mario, show them how it goes. Try to calm her down. Cause she hates him. Fine, come on, grown. Apologize. Smooth recovery. <laughs> All right, let's turn this off. What are you about to do? Oh, you're going to stomp in the garbage now. <laughs> Real mature, Laura. She's not stomping in it. She's cursing about it. Throw it away then, because you're bigger than that. You're better than that. Massimo, I know you're trying. It's just not working out. Anyway, time for you to wake up. Why are you depressed? What? If I could go back from being old? Oh no, stop. That's really sad. Well, come. It's time for you all to go out. What? Massimo, why do you have work? I swear if this is Martin. Hey, Laura, it's me, Martin. Do you want to go on a date? No thanks. <laughs> anyway, come on. Time to travel. Wait, Laura's not going to come with him. Maybe Domenico should do it. Oh my god, he came down naked naked. Scandalous. Who is whistling like Martin? I will destroy you. Unless, is Martin secretly here somewhere? <laughs> was it here? If it's not here, I'm actually going to scream. Okay, guys, so it was the right place. Lucky us. Here is the fountain. <laughs> this is the fountain scene. So, Laura, you need to make Massimo a little jelly. You're tense. Oh, because she's unemployed. LOL. She's thinking about her job. She's like, oh my god, they're going to fire me. They're fully going to fire me. You're already fired, Laura. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be fine. Massimo, you're supposed to be talking with Marco. Marco, oh my gosh, please don't be depressed. Maybe we need to get you drunk. But also, can we please change your outfit? This is not mafia-esque. Ah, that's better. So, Massimo, you're supposed to be talking to your quote-unquote cousin. And you're complaining about love life, yes, you're complaining about Laura and how she's giving you such a hard time and he's like, oh, that's the girl, I can definitely see what you mean. Share your insecurities about the fact that she's not giving you the time of day. Wow, this is perfect. Um, show her more insecurities. Um, did I just see this close relationship? Please tell me. Talk about your dreams about wanting to get closer to her and marry her. Sorry, Landon. You're irrelevant to us right now. And in the meanwhile... Oh, she's making some friends. Oh, she's too angry that he's there. Okay, so furious, huh? Stop talking to these people. Drink your drink. And then you... Matter of fact, Mario, hear about Mario. Massimo, you guys need to come over here. Sit and chat here. Like, now, please. Because Miss Biel is going to be going into the fountain. Alright, so... Take a steamy shower. Massimo, where are you guys? You're supposed to be sitting and chatting here. So yeah, Domenico's like, look, she's, she's legit bathing in the fountain, Massimo. And Massimo's like, what the heck? Laura, what are you doing? Are you crazy? How can you do that? 
<laughs> and he grabs her away and they're all wet and whatnot. And she's like, <laughs> He's like, please, assure me, tell me, what are you doing? Are you insane? And then... <laughs> And he's all pissed, he's like, why, why is she trying to do this to me? Stop trying to make oh, me jealous, could you stop? Oh. Apologize to her. He's like, I'm, I'm, re so I'm really glad I met you, Laura, do you enjoy so spending time with me? 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 Bro, she's fully going to say no, I don't even have to ask. Why don't you try being nice to her, huh? Clearly the apologizing isn't working. <laughs> I swear if this is- oh it's all gone! Oh no! Too bad you don't have a phone. You can't answer her, you don't know she's calling. Oh my gosh, Laura's feet disappeared. Bro, she just like hates him. This is not working out at all. No! Oh god! <laughs> oh no! Charky, oh no, she's insulting him. Tell her a funny story. Okay, you know what? Massimo has to go to work. So go to work, you go home. This was a fail. Sorry, Massimo, it didn't work. You have to try harder next time. Oh crap, I forgot the door is locked for her. So I can't bother go through that whole lock for who and whatnot. So I'm going to teleport her inside. Okay, it finally worked. All right, well, you're exhausted. And you're hungry. Why don't you eat first? You probably shouldn't have eaten. I mean, drunken on an empty stomach. No, you're going to eat first. My orders. Get leftovers. And then you can sleep. Oh my gosh, it's Jamie. I wanted to see how things would go if we went on a date together. Oh no. Are you interested? <laughs> I'm sorry, Jamie. I also didn't realize you swung that way. <sighs> Sigh. I missed opportunity because she's stuck with Massimo. Can definitely see why she's upset. Because this guy who kidnapped her, he's preventing her from... from meeting new people now that she knows Martin is a low life and lives after... What's the word? Lives up to his last name. Marco, how are you? You look very stressed. He's tired and he's hungry. And you can join Laura and have some leftovers then. Paper bag. Everyone's trying to make a deal in this park. So the paper bag, so that paper bag stashed behind the trash bin. Well, it's probably not full of sandwiches. It could be a setup though. Domenico can either swipe the bag or leave it alone. Swipe the bag, Domenico. <laughs> you swipe that bag. Oh, he got coal hard cash. What a sweet deal. <laughs> no, that's what I'm talking about. All right, I forgot to make you guys work hard and stuff. You work hard. Hmm. Make some connections still. And you also, you suck up to the bosses. Because you have to undo all the bad stuff that Massimo ends up doing. And Laura, why don't you kind of befriend Marco? Oh yes, I need to change Marco's job. Um, this got some interests, you know? You never know, you have to make as much friends as you can in this house. Especially if you want to escape somehow. You are changing your job. Oh my god, retire. He can legit retire. That makes me so sad and I don't know why. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Marco. I'm sorry that you're depressed. I didn't even realize he was old. Should I cheat him and make him an adult instead? I feel so bad. <laughs> Although the cook didn't look all that young, if you ask me. But he wasn't like old. I don't know. Look how sad he is. 
Maybe a new fun exciting criminal job will, you know, be exciting for you. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure a criminal job will get his adrenaline running. Uh, that's more like it. So after you clean up, you can go to sleep. And after you go to sleep, why don't you have some fun in the morning? Oh no, he's just going to nap because all the beds are taken. I know, we'll turn this into a bunk bed. I'm going to put Domenico on the bottom because he has to be... Actually no, this guy's old, he should get the bottom. Assign the bed to yourself and sleep. Domenico, when you come home, sleep. Wait, what? Oh. Oh no, he's mentally drained. <laughs> Massimo, look at you having all the fun. Come, go to bed. You go right to bed and I will end the episode with you fast asleep. Ah, there we go. I see you had a nice smoke. Where are you going? Massimo? Massimo, where are you going? I'm waiting you to sleep. What is he doing? Oh, he wants to stalk Laura a little first. What the heck? He can't. <laughs> well, he can't stand being around her, and yet he can't. He literally can't stay away from her. He's watching her sleep. <laughs> He's in love, guys. He's in love. Come, Massimo. Go to bed. Massimo, what is wrong with you? Oh, you want to sleep with her? Is that what you're saying? You can't. She'll come out of her bed if you do that. <laughs> well, I guess we'll leave the episode here then, since he's clearly not planning to stop stalking her. <laughs> So, guys, thanks for watching. I was hoping we'd get them a at least a little less red. I thought we'd make some progress, but we didn't make any. <laughs> but in the next episode, hopefully we will. So, yeah, the episodes coming up will just be me trying to build their relationship up, get them in love, the yacht scene, um... The scene where he sends her back to Poland and she changes her hair color with Olga and all of that fun stuff. <laughs> so thanks for sticking along this far and I hope you stick along for the rest of the ride. And thank you. See you in the next one. Bye.